Ari Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Harachak Wadash. Double honor has been to the apostles and others at Great Millstone, who rule well and taught us this 100% truth. Much peace and blessings be unto you, hopefully, like that, the Pishnat, this word of thought, truth, and sincerity. To all you, I can I am the Akira. I am from the servants. He how over Yahweh Shai Cam coming in with the, you know, quick video based off of a dream I had about the persecution. You know, so to start it off, within that dream, you had a newly created Israelite camp, which was ruled by Eve. And that, that immediately was a red flag that I noticed. And, you know, some prayers came to mind when I woke up. And that would be the book of First Timothy, the second chapter. And I'm going to start it off at verse 11. It says, let the woman learn in silence with thoughts subjection. Which when you look into that word subjection in the Hebrew in the Slack in the Greek in the Greek. Like Kushab bear with me. And it goes back to the Greek word. Hupataige. Hupataige. Strong's G fifty two ninety two. Hupataige. Hupataige. And in the outline of biblical usage it says the act of subjecting. Which that word subjecting means to. All right, it's not going to say right there. But the archaic definition would be basically to enslave, if you will. All right, you know, to uh, mortify. And that word, and another definition would be obedience. All right. So to, you know, submit to one's control, you know, to obey. Hey, a servant obeys, man. All right, which a servant is another word for slave, and slave is subject. So going on, it says, But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. All right, and that's the point right there. It says, But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man. And that's exactly what that Eve did in the dream. And even now, you know, within these, you know, churches, you know, in these, fall, you know, bug out camps, yeah, women teaching, man. All right, over the night, I see you got the, 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 the two sisters out there with the zeal. You know, that's not according to knowledge. I'll paraphrasing right there. And that was in the book of Romans. It went into that. But yeah, those two sisters, you know, running rampant around the streets, you know, with their phones as microphones, you know, trying to, you know, questioning random people off the streets and then, you know, correcting them, which, you know, women's not supposed to do that. All right, you're supposed to, you know, learn in silence. That's it. You know, not not teach. And then you got within this plantation Christianity, you got these churches out there with apostles, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, pastors. So some 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 of the women call themselves pro prophetesses. All right, but they don't even know what it be, what it means to be a prophetess. All right, so you know that, that that's immediately a red flag within that dream. You got the so called black woman, you know, over the whole camp, and they're reminding me of the Revelation, the second chapter. You know, which in the first three chapters, how was is getting on the seven churches and addressing their faults and things of that sort, going to what what he has against them, against me, he doesn't like what what, the, what they were doing back then. All right, so Revelation the second chapter verse twenty it says, "Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee." And this is how was speaking, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which that ain't talking about the old ancient spirit, you know, the wife of King King Ahab back in Second Kings. No, I ain't talking about her. You know, talking about that 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 spirit. That was going on back then. You know, you had, you, had, you had women teaching, you know. And even now, you have the same thing going on. So, because thou suffers that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess to teach and to seduce my son. The Apostle Paul said, I suffer not. Hey, but, but that camp, and even now, you got people, you got, you got these men, you know, these leaders suffering the, the women to teach, man. So... To teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and eat things, sacrifice and idols. And this and the thing is, women can't get this truth, man. All right, you guys just that 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 the Lord, you know, put the spirit upon them to actually receive these things. But the majority, and that being about eighty nine percent of you women, you know, um, to roughly estimate, right now, hey, you women don't believe. All right, and, and even if you come into this thing, eventually you're gonna fall out. You're gonna bug out. All right, there's there, there's tons of examples of Akim's his wives, you know. I'm just gonna leave it at that. That that they all felt like you know they they couldn't they couldn't handle this thing because you know they all got on their feelings and whatnot, and that's why in the book of Proverbs the eighth chapter makes the mention that it's only this truth is directed unto men only. All right, as a matter of fact, you look at the commandments; it's always you know referring to a he, a him. All right, you know that should not see the nakedness of the of thy sister and things of that sort. It doesn't it doesn't direct it to that to a woman. 
All right, you know, majority of these commandments given to us are direct to 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 a masculine, you know, a masculine noun that being a man. So Proverbs the eighth chapter verse four. It says, uh, "Unto you, O men." I call my voices to the sons of men, and it is wisdom crying, and you can find wisdom through these scriptures, man. All right, yet the rest of the scriptures are, you know, the, the 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 Bible, the Holy Bible is a guide. All right, you know, it's like a like a survival guide. And actually, it is a survival guide because hey, they, they, they show you the ways of righteousness, which are a pleasure to the Lord, and they 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 they, they promote you know long life. You know. Hey, whereas if you, if you keep on going off, eventually you're going to get that sword. You know, you're going to get killed, man. All right, but going back to Revelation, the second chapter, verse 20. It made the mention to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication, things, sacrifice, and idols, which, you know, that was going on back in the ancient world. You, you, had, you had a physical fornication amongst the, the women bishops in that camp. It was like in that church, in a, uh, well, camp church or anything, but. You know, between between the women bishops and and the, and the followers, but that was also going to spiritual fornication because they would eat things, sacrifice, and idols, going to these rallies, parades. All right, because back in the ancient world, you know, polytheistic religions were a big thing. You know that 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 um, people would would would, would, would uh, um, so called sanctify their food unto the idols. So that was an example of spiritual fornication because you had that going on. But going back uh, to that dream, you know, uh, there was ranking and order within that camp. You know, starting off with Eve as a head. All right, she 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 was a, the 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 leader overall, and that's what 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 America brings. You know, you look into these various movies and things of that sort. You got the so-called black woman, the so-called black woman, the so-called black woman on top. And you can't even play a video game without seeing the so-called black woman leading. You know, leading leading groups of men. You know, it's totally off, man. You know, it's placed backwards to the bone. So, uh, it, you know, it started off with Eve as a head. And underneath her, you, you had four henchmen, all right? And four of her, 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 her henchmen. And underneath them, there was a group of trustworthy believers. You know, you could count on them to do some things. And under them was the rest of the camp members. Which, now that ultimately goes against the, the, the order in the book of First Corinthians. 11th chapter, verse 13, it reads... Or verse 3, Salaki, it says, But I would have you know that the head of every man is the anointed Yahweh Shai, and the head of the woman is a man, and the head of the anointed Yahweh Shai is the Heavenly Father Yahweh. Or oh, that's the order. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't the, the, the head of every man being the woman. You know, but that's what America brings you, you know? That's what, that's what 2023, circa 2023 America brings. You know, uh, total, total, you know, uh, control of, of the man by the woman. So that's what you got. Yeah, that's what you had going on that in that dream. You know, within the Israelite camp, you have the head of the, 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 the being the woman. But going on within that camp, uh, one of the rules was to deny the Lord as and you cannot say, yeah, how shall we return? Because they were like, I always see man whose goal is to try and wake up all of Israel. Disregarding prophecy that being, you know, that, that, that being how uh coming back for only the elect. All right. So, you know, they were like I always see in all these other camps that that promote the idea of waking up all of Israel, or you had a uh, Samuel through Jackson. If I'm, it's not him, it's like yeah, something through you know uh, that one actor who was in Percy Jackson. You know that that dude's bugged out talking about I don't care about what the scriptures say. You know I I, I want to wake up all of Israel. Hey, but how, how are you gonna wake them up without teaching them one hundred percent truth? I hey, see because you're already you're already going against what the scriptures say. You know. So how how can you do that? It, it, you know it, it, it's it's a vain thing to do, and it's not the it's not the Lord's will. It's not the Lord's will at all. And in Isaiah the fifty fifth chapter verse eleven, it made the mention, "My wish shall not return to me void, so it, but it shall accomplish that which I please." Right. So whatever the Lord you know uh, spoke about back in the ancient world will come to pass. All right, Malachi three and six makes the mention, "I change not." You know, and also in James, the fourth chapter, verse 17, it makes the mention, there is no variableness with them, referring to the Lord. Variableness meaning a change of heart, I'm saying. Hey, you know, the, the Lord is not going to change his mind. Whatever he says is going to come to pass. That being two thirds going to die and the Lord only coming for an elect. Or you, you, can't, you, you can't disregard that, man. You can't disregard that. 
So first of all, I want to get out the book of Isaiah, the 10th chapter. Verse 20, it reads, And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more against thee upon them that smote them. Yeah, because this is the last captivity. You know, uh, and, who, and who is he that smote mote them? All right, Esau. You know, and it shall come to pass in that day at the remnant. All right, rem you, you look at it as a pie chart. You got three pieces. All right, uh, you got two thirds that are taken away and there's a remainder. That being uh, one piece left. All right, a remnant is a remainder. You know, a remainder, uh, the remaining, the chosen, selected, the few, the, the elect. So, and such as escape to the house of Jacob. Hey, because we're going to be preserved, man. We're going to be preserved from all the set of perils at hand. So, shall no more stay, uh, shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel in truth. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty power. Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai. For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea. And, and that goes to show you that the Heavenly Father does keep his promises, man. You know, that, that the, whatever the Lord said will come to pass. You know, even if we, even even if we've been bitten down in this captivity, yet, you know, Jake being scattered abroad, we're, we're the biggest nation in existence, man. All right, you got you got speckled birds all over you. You you got you got you know, northern kingdom scattered abroad, southern kingdom scattered abroad, within all nations. You 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 got Russian looking Jake, man. You know, and now you got camps around those areas, but you know those Israelites that the Lord never gave the spirit to. That are living in those areas, they look like, like they look like like Chinese man. They look, they look they look like Moab. You know, yeah, yeah, a lot of you know uh, uh, Edomite looking Israelites, you know, uh, going on, so on and so forth. So we're we're a big nation. The, the Lord multiplied us, man. Although we're in the lowest state ever, the Lord multiplied us. That, that's a promise that, that yeah, that goes to show you the Lord keeps it with His word. You know, for thought thy people Israel be the son of the sea. And the scripture is going to Isaiah, it's like Exodus, the, the 32nd chapter, if I'm mistaken. It also makes the mention, I shall make thee as the stars of heaven. Which the stars of heaven, they're infinite, man. All right, the, the, the kingdom of heaven, the, the universe is infinite. All right, it ain't finite. It was a kingdom with, 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 with limited resources. I don't know, this is the kingdom of heaven. The Lord talked about how, how no man, I, no I has seen. Or that's like, that was the apostle Paul um, quoting Isaiah. That, that, that was the apostle Paul quoting Isaiah as well going to how no eye or ear hath seen or heard what the Lord prepared for them you know so uh, you know to us we're, 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 we recognize we're, we're known to have limited resources but hey, we don't know what's in that one the kingdom we know it's going to be infinite though so what going on it says for the people of Israel is the son of the sea yet a remnant of them shall return the consumption decrease shall overflow with righteousness so that go, that 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 shows you that that the Lord is going to you know through Yahweh Shai obviously is going to deliver and elect you know Yahweh Shai and with them the host of with the host of heaven that those being the angels. All right, so uh, Khan, that was in the book of First of the Look Thessalonians as well. You know another quick precept in the fourth chapter, verse seventeen, that makes the mention or verse sixteen or verse fifteen. So like in verse fifteen, because he made the mention, such as our escape to the house of Israel, meaning preserved. Hey, because there's a lot of death going on, and, and it's going to get worse, man. So, verse 15, it says, For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain. Yeah, because you're seeing all this death now. I was just reading an article at the gym earlier today, and it said 60% of uh, of deaths, you know, are, are, are mainly caused by the, by the G-A, G-A-B-D, G-A-B-D, it's like a J-A-B-D, the J-A-B-D, I'm going to leave it at that, or J-A-B-D, J-A-B-D. They can receive what I mean, J. Abd. You know, which uh, we told you would happen, and it's happening now. So for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Those that are asleep are the Akim that, that die in this thing. You know, whether they, they, they were in the spirit, or spirit world since the past life, or they recently, you know, went away. Th those are they which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. I'm not saying that shout is going to, uh, I remember some of me the mentions actually going into actual trumpets, but if I'm saying that shout, you know, uh, uh, pairing it up with, with, with second, this is the 13th chapter, it's going to that, 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 that chariot lasers. But it goes on to say, so descend with heaven from a shout with the voice of the archangel with the trump of, 
Yahweh and the dead and the anointed shall rise first. And those dead and the anointed Yahweh Shai that shall rise first, meaning they're going to, you know, be be the first ones in the chariots. Those those dead are the Akim that passed away. Those are the ones that are asleep. Hey, Yahweh Shai made the mention that, 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 that they're not dead, but, but asleep. It, because ultimately we never we never really die. Uh, we're, we're, we're eternal. You know, it's just the transferring of spirits, you know. First, we're, we're, we're awake on this side and we go back to sleep in the spirit world. Yeah, although we know all things over there, you know, we're, we're, we're basically asleep, if you will. So, you know, that, that's a crazy thing. But going on, it says, Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught out together with them in the clouds. Yeah, uh, an elect, the ones that remain, the remnant, shall be caught out together with them in the clouds. Those clouds are referring to the chariots. All right, because in Psalms, the 103rd chapter, if I'm mistaken, or was it the 104th chapter, verse 3? If I can get that out, actually. And it's, yeah, come on, it says, Who laid the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariot? Who walketh upon the wings of the wind? And you got something known as a lenticular cloud. And I always bring this out. You know, lenticular cloud is basically a chariot in disguise as a as a cloud. All right, it looks like a like 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 a like a little flying saucer. And that's because it is, it is a so called flying saucer. It is a chariot, man. You know, so going back to First Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, verse seventeen, it says. Uh, you know, caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. And that's a comforting thing, man. All right, because who would want to live a life being smote by Esau? You know, the basis of the men. That's 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 just a, you know, terrible, that's a, that's a terrible way of living. Or, or surviving rather yet. Or just existing, you know. You know, it's, it's a miserable existence, if you will. But digressing back, you know, back to the dream I had, so like about that, I can all right, kind of, I want to get, I remember, remember, I want to get another preset on the book of Zechariah. Because, you know, going back to that dream, you you had them trying to wake up all Israel. What's the Lord ain't going to do that? Isaiah the 6th chapter, verse 9 through 12. Which, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, Khan Yahweh Shai did, did make mention of it too. All right, Yahweh Shai did, did, did quote Isaiah on that one saying, uh, it is, it, you know, it is not for them to receive, you know, um, it's like, yeah. Isaiah the 6th chapter, verse 9 through 12, it makes the mention you know, uh, teach them, you know, make their ears, he make their ears fat with words and their e eyes heavy, really paraphrasing right there, you know, until I, 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 I destroy, make them utterly desolate, really paraphrasing right there. When the show up, the Lord ain't going to give them this truth, although you're, 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 you're speaking to them, so like from my stuttering, you know, you're teaching, you're teaching them, the Lord's not going to give them the spirit to understand it. And that's why Yahweh Shai would always make the mention, he that hath an ear, let him hear. So this book is Zechariah, the 13th chapter, verse 8, it makes the mention. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall, shall be let therein. Hey, you see, that's the point right there. You know, to the point, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. The Lord don't give a shit, man. You know, excuse my French. That goes to show you the, 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 how, how cold the Lord is. The Lord is cold, man. Like he's, he could be ruthless, too. And that's a balance. So, you know, he's merciful, but he's also ruthless. So two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord is my power. And one thing you're going to have to require, the Lord, one thing the Lord's going to require from you is knowing the names. And you're going to have to know the names in order to be delivered as well. You know? But first of all, you gotta first and foremost, you gotta be you know pure and be the elect. But digressing back to the dream I had, um, you know that 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 was a rule. You know, yeah, you have to deny how how shy is, and you cannot say how shall return. That, that that was a top priority. You know, uh, uh, if you broke that and said yeah, how shall we return? Hey, you know, you you'd have to face harsh consequences, man. That that's going to that persecution. But you know, in the dream, you know, me and two northern kingdom bros. You know, went to observe the camp, and we were speaking to the Eve about the responsibilities in that camp. You know, we're like in a meeting room, and uh, she told us that about the don't say how was that and then continued by demonstrating what she meant by that. So you know, so Eve, you know, being being Eve in control, all right, uh, sent her henchmen to quarrel with some of the camp members. You know, and then quickly the henchmen hit them up with the, "Do you believe you how would return?" You know, the camp was mainly inhabited by speckled bird Israelites. You know, so you know the. In, in that room, 
When you have the henchmen, you know, who confronted the, 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 there was four sincere believers. You had four henchmen and four sincere believers, you know, uh, which, you know, four, four represents mercy. So, you know, ultimately the Lord had mercy, uh, on the sincere believers. But they were him back, you know, you had more by looking Jake, you know, and, uh, more by looking brother. He, 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 he was sincere, man. He, he looked sincere. But he also looked like 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 a chef, you know. He was like the cam cook, and what happened was that when he was hit with the "Do you believe in Yahweh Shai will return?" Hey, that that dude, he gulped, man. You know, he gulped. He puffed up his chest. You know, looked the henchman directly in the eye, boldly standing right there, and said, "Yes, I do believe Yahweh Shai will return." And immediately, you know, that that, that um, immediately after that happened, you you had Eve lift up her hand and two double edged swords beheaded the ark. You know. And when you lift up some, when you, when you lift up your hand, you, you know you're, you're you're commanding a strike upon something. But first of all, when I got the book of Mark, the eighth chapter, verse thirty-eight, and it says, "Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels." And, and that you know the act, he 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 was thinking for a moment. He was like, "Dang." You know, because he understood that if he were to, if he were to, you know, admit Yahweh Shai would return, he would face, you know, he would basically get killed. Hey, but you know, what's worse, you know, trying to save your your, your own life and then losing it, or, or or you know, losing your life and saving it. All right, you know, I'd rather you know risk my life out for this thing. As we just say, we're supposed to strive for this truth and the death. You know, strive for this truth and the death. And that was in Sirach, the fourth chapter, verse twenty-eight. You know, Lord will get that out eventually. But, you know, um, hey, yeah, this is a sinful and adulterous generation, you know, 2023, like back in the ancient world, but worse right now, you know, so, uh, that, 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 Ak, you know, he, he just sucked it up and, 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 you know, went through it. He, he said, I do believe, you know, so say, say in that dream, if, um, that weren't the case, but he did admit the name of Yahweh Shai will return. And, 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 you know, that wasn't the case where, where he would have died in that dream. And Yahweh Shai would appear in that dream. And he would get delivered, basically. You know, just a, just a quick, you know, hypothesis. But going on, I want to get another piece of down the book of Matthew, the 10th chapter, verse 33. It says, but whosoever, or so like in verse 32, it says, Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. Hey, he confessed, man. And what does that word to confess? In that Greek, it means, uh, Hamagaeo. Strong's G, 3670. Hamalageo. Hamalageo. All right, Hamalageo, Hamalageo. And that word, you know, uh, to confess, in the Atlanta biblical usage, Hamalageo means, all right, uh, to declare, to admit, all right, not to deny, to declare openly, speak out freely, to profess, to pray, celebrate. And when you speak out freely, you know, you have something you known as uh, um, freedom of speech, which we all know that that, that that ain't true. You know, there's no such thing as freedom of speech. You know, we, we, it's all it's all labeled as hate speech, and we all get targeted for it. But you know, we we speak out freely, and that, that's that's the consequence that you get, man. You know, that's the consequence you get for speaking out freely and saying how it should return. You know, that's the consequence you get. Death. And it's going to happen again, you know. All right, back back, back in the ancient world with the apostles, you got that persecution. Oh, yeah, yeah, Stephen, he, he he got stoned. You know, but he he, he, he was in the spirit when he when he, when, when, when he went out. He, he went out as a, as a fighter. And he he gave, gave out a beautiful testimony in the seventh chapter of Acts. You know, you had a polycarp. You know, he actually had a vision of him dying before, and he also had a, a um, I forget the other, the other Ak, he, he was in, uh, he was in Revelation, the second chapter, you know, Yahweh I mentioned in My Faithful Martyr, so I forget his name, Salaki, about the Akim, hey, but that, that, that brother went out beautifully as well, he, he, uh, he, he was put on a brazen bull, but you, you had tons of men die too, you know, Yahweh Shai, he died, terrible gruesome death the, the prophets of old they all they all got they all got you know killed 
a James the Apostle, he got killed with the sword by Herod. You know, so, you know, that's the reward you get. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth, I cannot send peace but a sword. For I am come to send, set a man at variance against his father, and a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of, they of his own household. Which, you know, um, that's going to uh, how, how your family will betray you as well. Uh, a man's foes shall be of the, uh, they of their own household. So don't you think just because you guys love each other for, for you know, for, for temper, you know, for, for that moment, that they're going to have your back in the, uh, when that time comes? Hell no. Hey, they're they're going to immediately sell you out, man. You know, that, that, that's the thing with Jake. Oh, that's the thing with Jake. They, they, they don't give a shit. You know, so uh, you know when I, when I, I the reason why I brought that up is because when I first woke up from, uh, after having after having that dream, I I considered it as you know your own wife too will, will you know will, will literally betray you. And right now she's okay with it, you know that you're in this thing, and, and you know some of the brothers' wives may support them, but eventually there come a time where you know they 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 they'll betray you. You know they they tell Esau he's over here, you know so. Verse 37, he that liveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that liveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Yeah, also he that he that um loveth his own wife and things of that sort. More than Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh 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 Shai. Hey, you know, the, you know, you're not worthy of them. You know? You're not worthy of them. So, uh, and he that taketh not his cross and falleth unto me is not worthy of me. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. And yeah, that's exactly what to do. You know, we're supposed to risk our, our lives and also take his cross, uh, cross meaning, you know, our desires and things of that sort. We're supposed to, you know, uh, um, sacrifice our time for this thing and not indulge in the things we used to do. You know, you know, that's another, that, that's another lesson right there. But digressing back, you know, when that mobile looking brother. Who was sincere said, Yeah, I wish I will, will return. Hey, you know, you had the double edged swords that immediately popped out of nowhere. Within. So he had two double edged swords on each hand of that henchman that was in front of him. And when Eve lifted up her hand, that was it. Hey, he got beheaded, which that reminded me of Acts the second chapter, you know? Or the, the Slacky, John the Baptist. Slacky, that was John the Baptist. Uh, I forget what chapter was that, that was in. I know it was in the Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. From the second, it was John 2. But yeah, John the Baptist. Hey, you know that 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 was a reincarnation of Elijah. You know, John the Baptist was a reincarnation of Elijah the Tishbite. You know, the the the, the prophet, the man of the Lord. All right, that that was a beautiful man who we whom we believe, you know, came back as Abba Bivens, beloved elder, Abba Bivens. Respects be unto him because, hey, you know that 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 was a, you know that that brother. Live a terrible life, you know. That elder lived a terrible, terrible lives. Terrible, he that elder lived a terrible, terrible lives. Talking about that, Kim. that elder the terrible lives, you know. Back in Elijah, he was depressed, uh, he, you know, he 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 was persecuted too. And you know, you got King Ahab trying to chase him and went on right about. Then when he came back, John the Baptist, he, you know, he gets beheaded by Herod, you know, if I'm mistaken, it was Herod the Tetrarch, and then uh. But then you had you had you had him come back as Elder Abba Bivens and he got he got murdered by by you know Muslims. And that's why I can't wait till Yahweh, you know, come you know, you know, Yahweh Shai Slaki. Yahweh Shai comes back here to destroy on those chariots with the angels. And that's why I can't wait the Heavenly Father, you know, Yahweh sends forth those ICBMs. That way they may burn and burn and wreak havoc upon the wicked, man. Man, that's you know, it's vexing. So, uh, going on within that dream, you know, it went, it kind of, after that, after that, that beautiful mobile looking brother got beheaded, it went in a line from right to left. So he was on the far right of the room and to his left were two uh, Southern Kingdom bros. You know, they look like they were twins, you know, and those bros also clarified, yeah, I wish I would come back and they died, you know, and they both died at the same time. All right, because they were twins, you know. But after that, to their right, you had a uh, you had a slack it to the right, to their left, to their left. You you had one remaining believer. Now was a beautiful, you know, uh, Ishmaelite looking sister. All right, she was an Ishmaelite looking sister, and she was beautiful to look upon. And, and she believed, man. And, and, and what happened was that 
Hey, she was in shock, you know, after she saw the the three brothers got got got, got beheaded. Hey, she she confidently said he would return, and that was it. They all got beheaded. You know, but that that that's a beautiful thing actually. Although although it's a upsetting thing to see, and it was upsetting and grievous. All right, losing a brother. Hey, it's really beautiful because in Psalms one hundred sixteenth chapter makes the mention. In verse fifteen, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Hey, see, and who are the saints? You know, the saint nation is the, is the nation of Israel. But within that nation, hey, you got an elect. Those are the true saints. Hey, you're not going to call, you know, some, some wicked lowlife hoodlum bum off the streets a, a, a saint, a man of the Lord. Hell no. Not just because they're the, 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 the Israelite nation. Don't mean shit in these times right now. All right. They're, 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 they're children of Belial. Belial meaning, meaning worthless. And that's why, that's why the Lord has them out there in the freaking streets, you know, being crackers and whatnot. You know, the Lord ain't dealing with them. Hey, but the true saints start off with the elect. You know, Yahweh Shai and the elect, first and foremost. All right, person. And also the angels, man. The angels are also our brothers. You know, they're also Israelites in the spiritual bodies. You know, they're also righteous. So, purchasing the sight of the Lord is a death of his saints. You know, so that's 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 a beautiful thing, actually. But I want to get another piece of down the book of Sirach, the fourth chapter I am verse 28 but as concern so lucky wrong one uh I got a, I got a second this is the fourth chapter I'm gonna get out Syrac so lucky about the Akim so Syrac the fourth chapter verse 28 it says strive for this truth unto death and with this truth the other apostle Gavar made the mention that this truth you know consists of the you know the the doctrine that we teach and the ministry, which was started by Yahweh Shai. So, strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. And the Lord shall fight for thee. Now you see? You gotta you got risk your neck out for this thing. And that's what we constantly do out of camp. Hey, don't you think I can, may, 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 may fear sometimes? Of course, you know, of course we kind of fear going out. Especially if you're a solo brother. Hey, because anything could happen to you. You know, we look at prayers, but even then the Lord could have it to where something, you know, bad may happen. You know, so uh, we, we we continually risk our necks out. You know, and, and even I have thoughts about how uh, you know with Esau, you know uh, Esau's you know secret secret uh, groups that, that that go out to uh, eliminate, if you will, a so called threat. And we're we're a so called threat against Babylon the Great. You know, I sometimes I get the thought that what what did they come for? Well, that's you know that uh, that that make that could happen. You know, that doesn't mean that we should stop teaching. No, we're supposed to strive for this thing unto death, man. You know, now, Lord will, we have the spirit upon us that we may be preserved. You know, Lord will. You know, Yahweh with his we were protected. All right, that's why it's this place, such as, such as escaped by the house, out of the house of Israel, you know. But that don't mean we got to stop teaching. We got to continue, man. You know, that's why, that's why you know, you got the elder Malcolm from the Chicago camp. He always makes the mention, you know, who risked their, their, their freedoms and, and life to do so, you know, to teach this thing. But next, I want to get up the book of uh, Revelation, the sixth chapter, verse nine. You know, so we're headed for some rough times. Well, this is gonna come back, man. You know, the, this persecution. So, like, I got the wrong chapter out. The ninth chapter, verse six, or so like, wrong, wrong, wrong chapter was uh, I'm not taking the second, the sixth chapter. Come the sixth chapter, verse nine. It says, "And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of Yahweh and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season, unto their fellow servants also on their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled." All right, so it, all things have to play out, man. You know, it's all you know, all all. Of the Lord, you know, you you cannot set things on your own time. So so again, with 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 that, with that trying to wake up all this, or you cannot do that, you know, of your own will. It's not it's not the Lord's will. All right, you know, it all plays out in its own time. The little the Lord, you know, had it to where uh, has it to where two thirds are gonna get smoked. You know, point blank period. You can't you can't do anything about it. Hey, but those brothers, you know, the the the, the doc, you know, brothers just out there that that, that that got smoked for this thing. They're there. They're resting right now. You know, that's we're just going to how uh, um the, the, the righteous are taken away and no man regardeth it. You know, that's really truly that's truly mercy, man. 
you know, the, the Heavenly Father have mercy upon them, so that way, you know, they, they may not suffer, you know, the, now, now, beautiful, the, 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 so like the, the prophet Ezra did make mention, you know, which we're looking at a different translation, like in the NLT, if I'm not mistaken, or a different translation, the GMB, I forget, you know, it makes the mention, now, it would be better to, uh, see these things that are happening on the earth, you know, to encounter these things, hey, that's because, what, that's, that's what the, the prophets have been prophesying out for the, for, you know, since the beginning, it is the end. We've been prophesying since the beginning about the end. And so it's a it'll be a beautiful thing to encounter these things. But, you know, that, that ain't the Lord's will. And, you, you know, it's still mercy. You know, it's still a beautiful thing to be, uh, you know, be at rest. But I'm ending off in the book of Second Ezra, the sixth chapter. And the, the the fourth chapter, Salaki, the second is the, the second is just, the second chapter, Salaki. Salaki, I'm all over the place. Second is the second chapter, verse 35 or 42. Bear with me, Akim of Oh, come verse 42, it says, uh, I, Ezra saw upon, I, Ezra saw upon the Mount Sion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs, and that great people being the elect. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, high stature meaning tall, you know, so taller than, the, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled that greatly. And, and he was more exalted, man. That, that's talking about Yahweh Shai. He, he, he's a man of high stature, you know. So, you know, we're all going to be a certain height. We're all going to go back to, uh, you know, our former height, you know, perhaps taller in those spiritual bodies. But Yahweh Shai is going to be taller than all of us. Go, go on something to say. So I asked the angel and said, sir. What are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal. And I confess the name of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai. Now are they crowned and receive palms. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is what young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto them, Slack it. So he answered and said unto me, It is the son of Yahweh, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Hey, Yahweh Shai looked like a young man. Hey, back when he was 30, you know, um, he must have looked pretty old. Hey, but in those spiritual bodies, Yahweh Shai looked like a young, young, young man. That was to show you how beautiful those spiritual bodies are. You look young, man. Hey, you know, the the, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, and, and the angels look younger than we. You know, meanwhile here, meanwhile we're down here rotting and, and, and rot, rotting away and, and looking all crusty and musty, dusty, wrinkly, and and, and suffering certain ailments and things. So we're ugly. You know, in those spiritual bodies, you're freaking awesome, man. You know, your your definition of handsome. You know. So me, me, meanwhile we're we're all looking old and and, and ugly. You got the powers up there in heaven looking young as hell. You know, young as heck, you know. So so he answered and said, it said unto me, it is a son of Yahweh, whom they have confessed in the world. Confessed in the world. That's what we're doing right now. And this truth is against the world, and this world is against this truth. So whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend, and that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Then the angel said unto me, Go thy way, and told my people what manner of things, and how great oneness of the Lord thy power thou hast seen. And, and, and he wrote it, wrote, wrote, wrote them too in, in, in a book. And that's how we have this account to this date, 2023. You know, because it was written down for our sakes. So we didn't want to know how uh, things that were written the fourth time we were written for our learning. Really pervasive right there. And that was in the book of Romans, the 15th chapter, verse 4. But that regressing back, I hope, hopefully this lesson was edifying. You know, it was, an, it was a beautiful dream. You know, uh, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Yahushai, the bond has been to the apostles and others at Great Millstone who rule well and taught us this 100% truth. Much peace and blessings be unto you, whole fool, like that depression, not this word of thought, truth, and sincerity. To all you, I can say shalom. Abad, abad, soon. Lord, we're out, and shalom.